today's video. Today is my trail ride with Penny. So good news and bad news. Bad news, everybody, well most of the people that were coming with us bailed because they had like crazy weekends are crazy especially when the weather is so hot like this people have plans they have things that they have to get done before winter arrives so people canceled on us one girl is actually still coming everybody else canceled on us and the good part about that is that god always has a plan so whenever plans get canceled or things get turned upside down just remember god has a plan and maybe he knows something that i don't know like maybe a penny is going to do so much better with just a couple of extra horses maybe i'm meant to start small with just a small group who knows all i know is that god always has a plan so we're going to go with it we're going to run with it and we're going to go on a trail ride you guys so let's get ready you know we're all just Sam has found himself a new friend on the day by day farm. I find him with this cat all the time. She loves him. Okay, so I've got my handy dandy pouch here. I will be taking it with me. I'll be putting my camera in there. Also going to take the GoPro. Got some treats. We are almost ready to go. It's a little early. I'm feeling a little bit hyper. You know that feeling when you're anticipating something crazy and fun? So I'm gonna go up and eat some meat. That always calms me down. It might sound crazy, but meat calms me down, you guys. Penny! Penny! Come on, Penny! You're not Penny, but I appreciate that you came. Penny! Are you calling me? She knows, you guys, something crazy's going on. Look at those chin whiskers. She wants to go. I can tell. She's looking out there. She's watching the trailer. She knows she's going someplace. Either that or she's not excited to go because she just did a flick of her tail. And there, oh, and there we have little Mr. Mister. She might not be, she might be afraid to come because of the other horses. Not that she's a scaredy cat, but she might just not be into it. You coming? Remember last night when you ran in against the rules? She wants to go. I wonder if she thinks that she's going home. I know people that say that they can't remember that kind of stuff. All right, I'll come to you if you want. Get. You can have a bite too. Oh God, getting myself wedged. Hey, that was a bit, okay. And a little bite for you. Okay, good girl. And then the last bite for you. And I'm getting the heck out of here. But that was great sharing. That was amazing! Even though I'm wedged in here, you guys, I'm like here and they're all surrounding me and I'd like to walk away now. But it's not going to happen until somebody backs away. Good girl. I'm going to go eat so that we have a good ride and then I'll be back for you. And we'll go on the, we'll go out. Yeah, she wants to go. We're going. I promise you. Penny's not in great shape. Like, she's not been, I mean, she's been ridden all this time. But you can tell she doesn't have that much muscle happening and she sweats holy heck she sweats like crazy when we ride last night we rode not like a ton just enough to like get her worked out sophie rode her as well and she was pouring sweat listen hey drop it <laughs> i need the pylons for the barn you can't take them up to the house leave them here this is my little friendly barn dog all right i'm gonna go up there and eat and pack up my gopro and all that kind of stuff and then we're gonna head out i'm gonna start early because i didn't get a chance to practice on the trailer yesterday her old owner told me that she loads like a dream the thing is she's never seen a she's never ridden on a ramp trailer before so i'm gonna have my work cut out for me hopefully she gets on hopefully it goes well i want to show you one more thing before i go one thing that I absolutely love about my Weaver leather tack bag is that it has room on the top for your helmet. You're supposed to put it a different way, but I just shoved it in there. But I can carry my helmet on there and know that it's going to be safe. Let's go. Let's go eat, Miss Molly. All right, so this is it. This is my lunch before the trail ride. It is cabbage rolls. Yes, I made it all myself, and then I've reheated it today for some yummy goodness so I have energy for the trail. Even Ruby thinks it smells fabulous, huh, Rubes?
So we got her on. Gabby backed her on. Gabby's our trailering genius. It was awful. It took an hour. Wet. Are wet. She just went through a mud puddle. I'm not gonna lie, that was super painful and I hated it every single second of it. I don't know why she's afraid of the trailer. Her owner said that she loads really well, but she's not used to the slide chin. The slide, the side, she's not used, used to the ramps. When she's on the trailer, she's still terrified. Every time I, she did something and I took her and I tried and I would get with her, she was like, like, oh, thank God you're here. Do you see what they're doing to me? Help me, please. So I felt even more like I was betraying her letting everybody help put her on the trailer even though she has to get used to it because this is our life now this is her life and oddly enough this was her life before um she used to be owned she was purchased in missouri by the lady that we bought her from um she belonged to a church group a pentecostal church group that would take her and other horses and their followers like their parishioners out into the to the mountains and they would go on like weekend long retreats out there. She she does everything. She's done everything. So I don't understand why suddenly the trailer is like a big huge issue for her. But we got her on. I don't know if we're getting her back. It is a sign we need to board her. We might have to start boarding her. We can't get her home. When I even think about leaving her there to board there, I feel sick in my heart because I like her home. I told you guys that when I was first going to see her that I didn't know if I was going to bring her home. I didn't know if I was going to board her somewhere. Like I didn't know any of the answers. I needed to get further along in the puzzle before I could figure out the ending. And I love her home. I love her here. I want to be with her at home. She hated the traveling. She hated it. She's pouring sweat. Was it from nerves or you think it was just hot in there? Oh, look at her. Both. She is covered. Oh, Penny. That is awful. Halter's on. I'm sorry. Can I walk her around while I grab Chino? Sure. Come on. We're not riding in here. So. We're, we're letting them back to the heat. Yeah, so Gabby wants me to, I just feel really bad for her. Like, I don't understand. I mean, I understand. Imagine you lived with somebody and liked them. And then this big trailer came and took you away. That would be odd. Like, I could cry over it. Like, look at how sweat she, sweaty she is. It's just so not fair to her. And I get scared or nervous about something. I always have to, like, talk it out. And that's how I get myself past it. So I tell myself the things I'm scared about. And then I tell my things that, myself the things that could go right. Okay, so this is what I'm scared about. I'm scared about the fact that, that she wants to go fast. She's gonna wanna go fast and the other horses are gonna be far behind me. I'm scared that she's going to wanna be in the front and just be like going, which I'm okay with. It's hard to take a Tennessee walking horse on a trail with a quarter horse is what I'm basically saying. And I'm worried like Gabby's, like Gabby and I have totally different ideas and her ways are great and work good for her, but they don't necessarily work great for me and for Penny, we're different. I feel bad putting a big, huge saddle pad on her. Hello, princess. I know where she got those white marks too, probably from trying to load. She's lunging me, you guys. <laughs> She's actually lunging me. You're okay. It's gonna be okay. You're okay. I'm gonna get a brush and I'm gonna make you nice and fresh and clean. All right, so Gabby thinks it's important that she meet Chino before we go on the trail so that we know if they're gonna like, how they're gonna be, if I can put her up Chino's butt and it's okay. Like, we don't know enough about her to know. Sorry, Mom, you can just have to pull you All right. She's coming with me. All right. oh. um, let it be I love her. No, don't come to me. Okay, listen. Ooh. Chino, don't be pushy. Yeah, Chino is a really nice girl. Chino's normally a nice boy. Chino is normally a nice boy. She just finished her heat. She does that with Willow and Gracie though when they met. Like that's all she does. She got so soaked in the trailer. I feel so bad for her. She hates it. How's your horse for trailering? He's fine. He paws when you slow down, though. 
Like, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> It's not just me. <laughs> I mean, as long as I'm far away, I don't I'm care. Psycho. Stop talking like that, Gabby. She's not. Aww. I mean, if you had somebody's nose stuck up your butt, how would you feel? Gary they were smelling cool each other. <laughs> Gary would be cool with it. <laughs> All right, so it's safe to say that she doesn't like, she actually is a really, she doesn't like men. She doesn't like anybody. Like she stays by herself. She's not a friend. Like she Until doesn't she like friends. Storm. Until she meets Storm. <laughs> Storm gets all the girls. At least Chino's good. Chino's being... Chino's friendly. So here's the problem, Paige, and I want your advice. I'm gonna put you on my camera, is that okay? Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay. Paige, this is my problem. So, oh, Chino is really <laughs> excited, though. He's trying Tennessee to walking horses, go. Like, so when I get on her and go, she's gonna be like... So that's their thing. They do this walking... Yeah, yeah. She can't control it. She can't control Come it. here, honey. I'll get him away from you. Oh, oh my god, no, Mom. It's Take literally off. just Penny throwing a She fit. wants me. She doesn't want him. It's just Penny throwing her sassy mare They fit. need to get used to it, though. Oh, Chino, you'll be in a good See, place. this is the thing. She doesn't like other horses, and our horses leave her alone. But Chino's like, I love you. You're so she pretty. Likes men. She yeah, likes she likes Gary. She yeah. Likes we just need to throw Gary here, and then she and Gary will be doing that. Look it, she wants me to save her. I can tell. She okay. So, I don't know how this is gonna work out. Like, I think I should just go in the front and just go in the front and let you guys do what she you want to do. Away. If she knows, like, if she will be good in the lead, then she'd be fine. She'll probably walk faster than. So <laughs> basically, if I'm behind, she's gonna just take off and go and, and be in front of them all. Near her butt, she will take off. Like we cannot go beside her. Well, does anyone have any boyfriends here? Because he seems to have like an attachment to butts. Yeah. So, good thing that you can attach him to she knows butt. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. Well, let's get tacked up. Can't kiss his butt. They've Girl, met. Mad. I feel like they've met, and she's saying I don't like you. She's like I'm. She's the boss vocal. <laughs> she's she's like, a girl. She knows being a gentleman. You know you are. I'll give you that. All right, Gabby's putting on her new hoof polish, and it is nice. Ah! I want to try it on my horse. Gabby says I couldn't use it on my horse because she's got white socks and white feet. I brought some water. You want some? Watch this. I put the water in my hand. She know, buddy. Because she was sweating so badly, I don't want to ride her if she like, needs a drink. And she's been drinking the water out of my hand. Like, how good of a horse is that? Then she peed on the ground. <laughs> and now there's a whole huge flood. Thanks, Penny. Love that. She's like, you put me in that trailer against my wishes and I'll get you back. Sophie decided to bridle for me. Every time I put the saddle on, I always like... Look how dirty she is because she's soaking. I know, I feel bad. Um, it always like, sometimes it fits better than others. I think I want to try it again. I like, I always end up putting the saddle off and on 15 times before I get it the way I want it. But... Because normally I tighten this to six and it's a good fit, and today it's only at a five. Sometimes I can only get it to a five. So I don't know what the problem is, to be honest. She likes to know that your hands are ready to give her a treat. Yeah, her old owner used to give her a treat, and that's why she likes to bridle. I should do that with Finn, though. Yeah, you should. All right. Over. Good girl. All right, so everything's going okay. Gabby thinks everything that this horse does is crazy, and that we aren't that I don't have control but in reality I do have control I have a little bit of control and I like this movement I like what she's doing but they are way back there you guys see them the horse got her head down you guys I got almost on the buckle and she's got her head down she's just doing it naturally all right so basically this whole ride has been about Penny wanting to go home. She knows the way home. She's taking me home. And that's all that's going to happen is what she's thinking. No. She wants to eat the grass. But I'm not letting her eat the grass because she does not deserve to eat the grass. Even though she's just a horse and she doesn't understand. She just knows she wants to go home. But she has to listen. No. No. We have officially exhausted anybody who will ever go on a trail ride with us again now because of that shenanigans. Look at my horse, you guys. Like, I think you guys can see it. It was just crazy. <laughs> you were crazy. Yeah, you were crazy. Look at her ears. Let's get the saddle off you so you can breathe. Girls tell you. Yeah. Mom almost died. And I actually. <laughs> 
I told her, like, we've officially lost all of our friends that will go trail riding with us now. Yep. <laughs> He's sweaty, too, but not as sweaty as her. He actually went, so. Yeah, so. For once. All right, Gabby, tell me about your trail ride. Oh, uh, pretty okay. So, is she. Gary's crazy, as usual. Gary galloped, and then what did Chino do? And you went faster than he normally does. I thought I was going to die. <laughs> I thought you were. The, this I'm is the like, trail oh, ride. No. We all died. I'm sorry, Paige, for my horse's behavior. It was actually, I think, Gary's bad behavior that triggered. I feel like on the trail in the woods, we did fabulous. It was just when we got out in the open and she realized she could get home from there. She's like, I'm going home. Yeah. I think Gary's bad behavior maybe triggered something. No, I, she like, the people on the road were like, do you want us to just stand here? I'm like, no, she just wants to go home and that's it. Um, Brenna Mundy. Brenna? Yes. Brenna. So Brenna was driving by. You were driving by? Yeah. And she spotted our trailer and she's like, hey, they're in there. <laughs> well, it's lucky you came now because let me tell you, I just had the ride of my life. Penny took me for a run. <laughs> Aw, I love your shirt. Never give up. I believe that. And thanks for coming and saying hi. That's awesome. How old are you? I'm 12. Do you ride? Yes, I do. What do you ride? Um, I ride English. I have a Welsh pony at home. A Welsh pony. I love me a pony. What? Um, and a team of Canadians. And a team of Canadians. Wow. I might be selling my horse. I might need to buy myself a Canadian. I'm just joking. I'm not selling her. But let me tell you, she almost went to the, somewhere today. <laughs> I could join her. Yeah. <laughs> this is not my best trail ride. Very, um, so Gary peed. Like, like I'm concerned as to why it's so yellow. That's like not healthy, bro. Drink water. It was a lot of pee. I'm pretty sure he drinks a lot of water. <laughs> I think all the sweat from the outside is on the inside too. It looked like sweat. Yeah, it was nasty, whatever it was. All right, like hopefully she's so tired now. I love you too, Gino. He's like, why, why aren't you paying attention to me? So I learned. Um, oh, he had swelling? He had a cut there. It's still there. There's a little bit swollen, but the swelling. When did that there. happen? Yesterday. Yesterday? Today. Today? Oh, I didn't even know. Yeah. See, that's the, that's what happens when I have my own horse. Okay, can you? Wow, that's awful. And your horse didn't bolt on you. My horse wasn't stopped, though. Did my horse pee, too, again? No. All right. We're going to go outside and I'm going to hose her down a little before I put her in the trailer because I don't even know what to do with this. I'm not going to lie, I'm a bit disappointed in our trail ride. We did fabulous. Like, it was the best trail ride ever until we started going home. As soon as we, actually, as soon as we went onto the trail, she started dragging me to in the direction to go home and I couldn't stop her. On the way home though, I learned how to actually pull back and stop her. Might not have looked pretty, but I actually learned how to do it. And that's what I mean. Like, it's the only way that I learned to ride is by getting out there and not dying. Like, I will save myself no matter what the cost. Oh, she's going to get upset because the horses are all leaving. Like, look at the dirt on her. You're going to have to rest for a couple days after that ride. minutes getting her in this time the problem is we got her in the front it's not as good for balance but we just had to do what we could do she's hungry she's tired I'm not gonna lie I, I'm a little confused I'm a little like I don't understand everything that happened today it's gonna take a while to figure it out I'm glad we have her at home I'm glad that we're gonna grow our bond and hopefully her confidence level she's not a confident horse I don't know like my trail ride at her house was very similar to our trail ride here but it was shorter and not as hard. This one was much longer. I am proud of myself. I stayed on and then I didn't get scared and want to leave after. I wanted to do the whole trail again because there were moments of greatness. That's what you have to focus on, the moments of greatness. Gabby, did I have moments of greatness? No. <laughs> there were no moments of greatness. There were moments where we were in the trees and she was walking with her head low and happy. It was just when we were in the wide open. So. 
lots to work on and I know obviously I'm gonna need help. I'm gonna, I'm, we don't have the right bit for her, for sure. And I did learn how to like really pull back and slow her down at the end. Did we look good when we were coming home, Sam?